That's our big story at six. A former Wisconsin man is charged with sexual assault tonight in a case that's gone unsolved for 22 years. Police say DNA evidence links 41 year old Glendon Goker to the rape of a 20 year old woman at an Iola Park back in 1990. Now, investigators believe he may also be connected to another cold case in Wapaka County. NBC 26's Heather Burke is live at six with more. The Wapaka County Sheriff tells us Goker is now also a person of interest in a double murder that happened back in 1992. The victim's families tell us they hope this is the missing piece that turned their lives upside down for decades. I still remember this. And I try to forget it. Richard Togstad reopens a box of old wounds after 20 years. You always miss your sister. Um, I drive past by her house just about every day. It was at her home back in 1992 when Togstad's sister, 23 year old Tana, was raped and murdered. Her boyfriend, 35 year old Tim Mumbrew, was stabbed to death. The date is March 26th. Togstad saved old newspaper articles, agonizing for a break in the case until now. Hopefully, this guy has something to do with it. Investigators say this man, 41 year old Glendon Goker, is now a person of interest. He's currently awaiting trial in Oklahoma in a separate case. It gives us, I think, all a lot of uh, uh, excitement of, of maybe there's something there that, uh, that we can find through this uh, process and uh, continue on with. The sheriff will question Goker when he comes back to Wisconsin to face charges for a sexual assault from 1990. Investigators will also put up this billboard along Highway 10 in Wapaka. We're now at looking for the community for the tips to help us identify and matched to the DNA left at the crime scene. Which Togstad hopes will lead to justice for his sister. What I hope is someone is locked up for it. They should be paying for the crime they did. If you have any information in this case, you're asked to call the Wapaka County Sheriff's Office. Meanwhile, Goker will make his first court appearance February 7th. Heather Burke, NBC 26.